But what Vera Rubin did was she was looking at probably several, you know, several a day or at, at night. She's getting these images, obviously fairly good resolution and, and quality for her to be able to do what she did. But she'd take these time-lapsed images of galaxies and she would measure. I mean, she's getting down here, like with the calipers, measuring how much these individual stars and individual nebulae, supernovas that were going on in them, how much they had moved, right? Because you know, galaxies are spinning, right? Yeah. So based on what she could see, on what the stars, how many stars it looked like there were and everything, she calculated what the mass of these, these galaxies would be, right? And what she found is that galaxies spin at about five to five and a half times the velocity they should spin given the visible mass. If the visible mass that was in galaxies is all there was, they'd, they spin so fast they'd fly apart. Okay, so that's an 80-85% discrepancy right there. It's a huge discrepancy, yeah. So nearly all the matter in the universe is, well, I shouldn't say that. About, so the universe is about 70% dark energy. And it's about 26% dark matter, maybe 25, maybe 27, right? And then the rest of it is the visible matter, baryonic matter, right? The stuff you and we're, I are, we're are made, made of and what we interact with. 